Hi Pisces, welcome to your singles reading for August. This is Mary, and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new and returning, welcome and thank you. So Pisces, we're going to take the look at the energy around you at this time. For singles, who's coming towards you, you know, who are you dating, getting to know, um, any of the energy around you at this time. So this is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. It's a general collective reading, so please only take it as it resonates for you. May or may not resonate. All of it may or may not resonate. Could be past, present, or future. All this is intended for... Um, it could be somebody around you or somebody, a connection you're not aware of or somebody, like I said, you're dating, getting to know or, or somebody new coming in. So I'll say the energy as I see it and um, I will say the signs as I see them, but only take them if you feel they resonate for you. But obviously if it's somebody new coming in, you wouldn't really know their sign, but it could be sun, uh, it could be any sign in their chart, uh, your chart. So take that how it resonates also. So a little bit of housekeeping before I get it started. Um, everything you need to know is down below in the description box, the decks I'm using, my social media links. Um, your playlists are down there, love in general. If you'd like to go back, please feel free. I do consider them timeless. There will be an extended at the end of this reading, so if this resonates for you and you'd like to watch the extended, I will tell you about that at the end. So stay tuned for that if you feel this uh, resonates for you. If you're new or returning or familiar with my channel and have not yet subscribed, please do feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. And if you do, thank you and welcome to the family. You can check out my channel first if you like to and see what it's all about. Those who are returning or are currently subscribed or thinking about subscribing, I do offer membership now. So you can click the join button near the subscribe button to see what I have to offer. Um, in the membership, you will get um, loyalty badges, you will get custom emojis, you'll get 17% off my merchandise, which you can find below the description box. You'll get shout outs, new members shout outs in my readings, and early access to all your readings um, here on YouTube. All right, so let's get started. So Pisces, let's see what's going on for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Let's see what the energy is around Pisces or incoming to Pisces. Let's see what's going on for you. So I hope everyone's doing well. Stay sane, safe, and healthy. Staying safe and healthy at this time. So let's see what is going on for you. I'm going to get one oracle from each deck. And then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot. So let's get one from each deck here for Pisces. What is the energy around this around them at this time? Like I said, if I feel like it's somebody new. Someone you're dating, someone you're getting to, you know, getting to know, somebody around you, um, you know, however I see the energy, I will say. All right, Pisces, 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 singles, or August, or any time you see this. All right, Pisces, one of these, okay. Pisces, let's see what is going on for you, Pisces. Singles, new love, incoming love, returning love, <laughs> connection you're not aware of. There could be someone around you that likes you that you're unaware of. Or maybe you like someone you haven't let them know, know yet. So let's see what's going on for you, Pisces. What is going on? Oh, it's way too many. For Pisces, one card. For Pisces. All right, I'm feeling this one. All right. Let's see what we have. Oh, a broken heart, Pisces, nine. Nine is about an ending or a completion. You get ten, which is the total ending, and then there's always a new beginning. So something's coming to a completion. Could be you. This could be your energy or some energy around you, incoming energy. But somebody here definitely feels like they have a broken heart. They could be stressing about it. Emotions are running high, super moon. So someone's very emotional at this time. And three of summer, hummingbird. You have an exciting reason to celebrate, such as an engagement, wedding, graduation, or birth announcement. Remember to cherish those you love. And the three of summer is always about me. Um, always about me. Can't even speak tonight. Uh, it's always about, to me, about reunion, union, coming back together. So maybe, you know, you've broken up with somebody here and you're feeling a little brokenhearted and you're wondering, you know, very emotional, you know, are we going to get back together? Is there going to be a reunion? Is there going to be a reunion happening here? So we do have reunion on the table here. Very emotional time and could be over a breakup. So 
So if you are single now because you just broken up with somebody, so this definitely I feel it could be about an ex. That's what I'm feeling. Wondering if you know going to be reunion uh, with the ex here. That's what I'm getting. All right. All right. So let's see what is going on for Pisces. And you Pisces at twelve, which is reduces to three, and then we got the three summers. So. All right. And the three of summer is water energy, which is your energy. Let's clarify this energy for Pisces, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Temperance, so Sagittarius energy. Five of Swords, so a lot of conflict, backstabbing um, kind of energy. So it might have been a very um, up and down energy. Ten of Swords, there was an ending here. Could have been with a Sagittarius lot of one-upping one another, conflict, you know, giving up and fighting for it, then giving up, walking away. And we got the, look at the energy here, how we have this moon in the background, and then we have the super moon, which is almost like the same energy. Wow. Four of cups, so feeling bored, dis, you know, disenchantment, bored, melancholy, blah, could be feeling could have it just been an ending here with um if it's not a reunion about an ex now i'm getting kind of like a different storyline which there could have been an ending here and now I'm getting into your back into your empress and emperor power libra or taurus feeling worthy again feeling strong and confident and stable so you maybe you know three in summer can be about just socializing getting back out into the community so you know you might have just dealt with all your emotions over a broken heart and now you're just ready to get back out there and socialize again. You know, getting back in your power. Feeling kind of bored now and disenchanted and blah. Okay, there was a painful, hurtful ending. There was a lot of conflict. You know, temperance angel usually brings soulmates back together. But it can be about healing, forgiveness, uh, balance, patience, strength, Leo energy. So, you know, knowing your value and worth. Being strong, courageous, and brave. Resilient. Powerful and strong. What else here? Six of Cups. So could be a soulmate returning here. For some of you, may have ended something with a Sagittarius. Or is this someone from the past? And, you know, you dealt with your emotions. It could have been a very emotional time um, for you. And now it's like you're ready to get back out there and socialize, feeling strong and in your power. Then all of a sudden, a soulmate could return from the past that you've known since childhood. Could have had past lives with this person, like a childhood sweetheart. I feel like a returning of a childhood sweetheart, like out of the blue. Six of Pentacles, very balanced energy. Two sixes here. Two of Swords, but you may be indecisive about this energy for some reason. I feel like you want it, you get back out there, and then it comes to you, and you feel it's very balanced, and you're like, okay, I don't know now. Justice. So, Libra energy. So, I feel like, you know, this is about clarity, balance, getting your justice, serving justice. It could be divorce. Some of you could have went through divorce here. And now, you know, you get back out there, you know, you've healed, you've dealt with all the emotions, for a time, could have been like over a period of like winter through like to the next summer. Like you went through winter, you went through spring, and then you went through summer. You went through three seasons. Three seasons. We got three, three. Three seasons you dealt with your energy. Now, that's almost a year. Now you are ready to like get back out there. Three seasons, three, six, nine. So it's like three months to each <laughs> season, three, six, nine. There's the nine. The broken heart. So it's feel like for you know, nine months, you dealt with this, and now you're like, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. And then all of a sudden, I feel like a soulmate returns, giving you the justice you deserve, and now you're indecisive about it. Do I really want this now? If it's not you, it could be someone you're dealing with, or a future energy, like I, like I say. So let's see what's on the bottom here. The star. So this is divinely guided energy. That's deep, deep healing. And I had felt that. You've done, you've dealt with your emotions. You did all your deep healing. This is divinely guided energy to have faith, hope, and optimism. Star, Aquarius energy. 
move, so this can move forward very quickly. Again, this is drive and balance, success and victory, for, positive movement forward, cancer energy. But now I feel like you started to make this positive movement forward and all of a sudden this comes in. It's like the return of the soulmate from the past, childhood sweetheart, and now you're finding it too overwhelming. It's like you thought you were ready for something new and now you find it overwhelming and now you're indecisive. This person is here to bring justice. So now you're <laughs> internally conflicted here with the five of wands. And this could be definitely soulmate twin flame energy here. This could lead to marriage, commitment. I feel like some of you did get divorced or ended a long-term relationship of some kind. But this could lead to a future, another future marriage or commitment or moving in, dating, getting to know, um, know each other all over again. Soulmate twin flame energy, the four of wands. Someone who is very stable and secure. King of Pentacles, Virgo energy, or Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Somebody who is very stable and secure and grounded, makes their money, they're very confident to bring in the balance to you, and you're indecisive about this, uh, Pisces. Um, okay. King want Look at all the kings here. Oh, my gosh. And we got the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment. So, I mean... One more king, and we have the emperor. Do we have the empress here? Yeah. One more king, and we have the emperor. No, that's the knight. I'm just wondering, you no, know, is the king or other king around? Because then we would have the emperor. No, well, I'm not going to go too far down. But this person is almost ready to be your emperor, or is ready to be your emperor. We got the king of wands. The King of Cups, the King of Pentacles, either that or you're dating three people, but I'm not really getting that. We do have the three here, so you could be dating three people and now you're indecisive. Um, who do I choose? Could be a fire sign, water sign, or an earth sign. Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or this could be your energy, king or queen, maybe needing to choose between two. And then we have the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. But one of these is your wish fulfillment and dream come true, happiness and joy, that uh, resetting to zero, taking a leap of faith and jumping right in, that you want to make slow, steady uh, progress with moving forward. And here's, you know, forward movement or an offer, stability, practicality, long-term abundance. So which one are you going to take the leap of faith with to your wish fulfillment to build for the future slowly? you know, in the future for. Wow. So, <laughs> Pisces, you're either you need deciding between two or three. Or this person's coming in and they're almost, you know, at, at that emperor stage where they're ready to be. Um, the only one we don't have here is the king of swords. So if he shows up in the extended, then this is your emperor. This would be a soulmate twin flame perfect match. So I do feel like Pisces is either you or you're dealing with a person in this energy or it could be an incoming person where they finally healed over past broken heart of, a, of the, either a long-term commitment or marriage or divorce for up to like nine months. And now they're ready. They're bored. They're, you know, like, okay, I'm ready to get back out there. They got their power back. And then all of a sudden childhood soulmate returns from the past and now they're, in, you know, ready to bring in stability and long-term abundance and now someone's indecisive about this or needing to choose between two people or maybe two soulmates from the past or three. Wow. So in the extended Pisces, if you want to go the extended, I will, if this resonates for you, I will look into, I will actually look into fire, earth, and water if you're dealing with those energies and see, you know, the future energy of those. So in the extended, I will use a separate tarot deck to clarify and I will pull three new oracles probably for each um, element each sign and also for each one uh, angel answers on that energy and see you know the future of each energy here for you uh, Pisces wow so links are below in the description box for Vimeo or Patreon Patreon is a one-at-a-time purchase for the same price you can go to I'm sorry Vimeo is a one-at-a-time purchase the same price you can go to Patreon get a monthly membership and get extended to all your readings from YouTube. So Patreon's a better deal, but whatever, whatever works for you best, if this resonated for you. Um, Patreon charges at the beginning of every month, so if you join now, they'll charge again at the beginning of the month. So now would be the time. I wouldn't wait till middle or end, because then you'll be charged you know, like twice in one month. So 
So best of luck to you, Pisces. If you go to the extended, I will see you over there. If not, um, best of luck. Send you many light, love, and blessings. And always, always shine your light.